to my channel. So today I'm doing a Q&A because that's what you voted for in my last video. So before we get started, I want to apologize if I sound a little bit sick. It's because I am a bit, I have a bit of a stuffy nose and a sore throat. So <laughs> just to let you know. So I asked you in my last video um, to ask me questions. And I also went on Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me questions there as well. So I'm first going to start with the YouTube questions and then move on to the Instagram questions. Although some repeat, but I will let you know when that happens. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first question. I have my computer here, laptop. <laughs> so Elise Wade asks, how long have you done RG for? Um, nine years? I think it's been nine because I started when I was six. I started a bit earlier when I was four, but that was, I wasn't, it was not consistent. I started when I was four, then I think I stopped for like a bit, and then I properly started again when I was six, so I think nine years, yeah. Rhythmic Outlines asks, are you naturally flexible? <sighs> I don't know, I, I think so, because I mean, when I was younger, I could almost do the splits without even go going to gymnastics before that. And you know, once I started gymnastics, I obviously improved on my flexibility. I don't know, I guess I was a bit more flexible than usual, than other people, I mean. I don't know. I guess. But not like super flexible. Obviously, I wouldn't be this flexible if I haven't stretched all these years. Rhythmic Outlines also asks favorite apparatus. Now for this I can't decide, I just can't choose because I like them all and I just can't choose one because one it could there's always something difficult difficult about each apparatus. Um, but I feel like it just depends on what I'm doing the best that day. And I got a bunch of questions asking me, or not maybe on this QA, but in general, people always ask me where do I come from? I come from Malta or Malta. It's a small island underneath the island of Sicily. So if you know where that is, you might be by Malta on the map. Except you have to zoom in a lot. <laughs> Next question, Alina Bloom asks, what's the best place to interact with the Rhythmic Gymnastics community? Sometimes it feels so lonely. Oh, I know, but um, sadly I don't really know how to answer that question just because I haven't really found exactly a Rhythmic Gymnastics community. Maybe um, on Instagram, there's a few Accounts about rhythmic gymnastics. Uh, maybe you can. I don't know. <laughs> I did find uh, some YouTube channels on, here on YouTube. I found some rhythmic gymnasts that have YouTube channels here on YouTube. So uh, I haven't watched them all. I've heard of some. I'll link them down below if you like. Alina Bloom also asks, "What's the best online shop for equipment?" To be honest, again, I don't know. I've only ever purchased things from Pastorelli and they were pretty good. Uh, most of my equipment is from Apparatus is mine. Yeah, most of my stuff is from Pastorelli. But uh, the thing is, usually when I go abroad for competitions, I um, sometimes they sell things there. They have a little shop and I buy uh, like new gym shoes from there or maybe new Apparatus or um, someone asked, can you do a needle tutorial? I already have that on my channel. I will link it down below as well if you like. Yes, I have Instagram. Um, it's always linked in the description box down below. Sabba Owens, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, um, asks, when did you start gymnastics? So around the age of six. And do you, do you love it? If so, what do you love about it? Okay, um, it's just, so different it's so unique and it's just so beautiful and elegant and graceful and like powerful and and I mean it's different than artistic gymnastics completely different it's a completely different sport even though you know you both have gymnastics in the name um, but this has the apparatus and the grace I feel like I would compare rhythmic gymnastics to ballet except with more flexibility the apparatus and of course you're not on point shoes but still it's just a beautiful sport and yeah I, I don't know what else to say about that and the last question I think for YouTube is from Alexandra P 
asks, can I still stretch my back at 15 years old? I'm not a beginner, but my back is not really flexible. Of course you can. It doesn't matter what age you are really, you can start stretching whenever. But at 15 is not that old. But you should start uh, carefully. You said that you're not a beginner. Yes. Um, so make sure you do a proper warm-up, like make sure you're sweating, <laughs> so make sure your muscles are warm and then you will feel a hundred times more flexible, believe me. Um, and then start out with some simple small stretches and then move on to the more advanced stretches. Okay, so that's it for the YouTube and now we're going on to Instagram. So the first question is from Emma's Dance asks, favorite of Ritus. Again, I can't really decide. Depends on what I'm doing best that day. Um, Steph.rg asks how many hours... No. <laughs> Sorry. Asks what level are you competing in in RG? Have you been in competitions abroad? If yes, what countries? So, um, here we don't have levels. I've only heard of levels in the United States. Um, in British gymnastics, there's usually pre-junior, junior, and senior. That's all I know of. And I will be, I, will, I am a senior because I'm 15. So 15 and older. Senior, yeah. And have you been to competitions abroad? Yes. <laughs> yes, what countries? Okay. I've been to England, I've been to Sicily, I've been to Italy. I know Sicily is an island. Um, I've been to Mallorca, which is also an island with Spain. Um, I've been to Bulgaria, I've been to the Netherlands, I've been to Luxembourg, I've been to Hungary, I've been to Lithuania, I've been to... I've been to Serbia, so... But I've went to some of these places more than once, so... Dalton J. Graves asks, what's your favorite dance gymnastics move? Okay, so if you didn't know, I filmed this video yesterday, or I tried to, so... And I already talked about this, so that's great. So, I, was, I said it first, I like to do like... I used to like doing cartwheels and front forwards, like the faster you do it, the kind of more fun. And that's what was fun when I was younger. But now the easiest like trick I can do, and I think somebody else asked me what's your favorite skill. I'll put it out up here, I guess. Um, is this one edit? Because it always freaks people out. <laughs> and it's yeah, simple to do for me at least. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite move, I guess. Um, but if it has to be like more gymnastics. It's Probably card feels, it's just front for colors, back for colors. I don't know. Maybe like stretchy things like flexibility, like putting like going into a chest and then putting your feet in front. <laughs> Next question is from C T Escher, I think. Um, what do you want to do after you finish school? I don't know. <laughs> so I finished secondary school and this year I'm starting college. So yeah, I'm going the sports route, route, yeah, that's what I'm doing in college. Development in coaching and fitness, I think. Flavia Leon <coughs> asks, do you have any diet or what do you normally eat? No, I don't have a diet and would I eat anything really? I mean, I try to eat healthy foods, obviously, vegetables and fruits, and I try to avoid the junk foods. I, it's just because we don't buy it, you don't eat it, and when I'm out, I kind of got used to like having the healthy option, although now because it's summer, I'm not that great at being healthy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I can say about food. I also like trying new recipes out and stuff, mostly healthy. I also like baking, I think I mentioned that in my last video, so ba baking is usually not healthy, but sometimes I try to make it healthy. Cameron Cruz asks, any tips on getting over fear of acrobatic moves like back or cover? <sighs> okay, so when I was learning how to do a back or cover specifically, um, or like a going into a bridge and coming back up, I used to do it on the bed or have a mat at, or a carpet and put pillows on it, something soft. And having somebody to spot you is going to help you a lot. But before you learn how to do a back walk over or even a front walk over, learn how to go into a bridge and come back up. And when you're doing it, straight arms always and squeeze your core and all the muscles basically. Make sure that you're warmed up as well, especially your hips here. Um, because it's, you know, if you're doing a bridge, it will actually stretch out your hips as well. So be careful. 
And also you can do it near a wall, walking down um, into a bridge using the wall. And then if you want to do a back walk over, um, what you can do is climb up, put your legs up the wall and kick over. And lots of practice basically. And you know, getting over the fear. I or even doing it on the bed, you know, somewhere uh, where you know you will feel safe even if you fall and having someone just to spot you. She also asks, what's your favorite rhythmic gymnastics brand? Like I said, I've only had, although I have had Venturelli as for clubs and I've also worn solo shoes before. So the next question is from Barry Samek. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, she asks, what inspired you to run a YouTube channel? <sighs> hmm, well, I remember the first time I saw like a proper YouTube video, like the beauty guru kind of videos. It was in like 2014, I don't know, but it was the beginning of secondary school and my friend told me, type on YouTube, DIY back to school something. and. And I clicked on the first video and I said, wow, I really like this. There was music, there were, it was colorful, there were like cool angles, you know, the camera angles, and I don't know, I just really liked it. And <clears throat> I really liked it and I thought, what if I try to do that as well? But then I thought, well, I don't, I'm not really good at arts and crafts and, you know, it was like the DIYs and the morning routines and that kind of stuff. And I liked watching it, but... I thought, you know, if I were to make my own YouTube channel and, you know, post videos like that, I won't enjoy it because I'm not good at those things and I don't know, yeah. And I thought, you know, with my best hit, so, yeah, gymnastics. And I tried looking for YouTube channels that had Richmond gymnastics, but there weren't any. Or the ones that I found were in Russian, or maybe there was just like one or something like that. So, I decided to start my own, I guess. Videos about Richmond gymnastics and in English, so... Yeah, but now I also, but now I've been doing it for not so, so long, but like, wait, maybe, how long has it been? It's been like a year, it has been two, I think it's been two years now. Um, <laughs> actually, my first video that I posted on this channel, I didn't even know I was going to post, because back then when I like saw all these videos, I wanted to try to make a video as well and it, it wasn't like turning out good I didn't really like it and I didn't really like the uh, my other house that I lived in or apartment uh, the lighting just wasn't really good and I couldn't find a good background I, I tried but it just didn't work and when I came here I really liked it and I thought you know what I'm just gonna try it out I'm not going to I, I didn't think I was gonna post it I just made it and I thought, let me just practice, you know, editing the video and stuff like that so that I can learn something and it ended up being my first video which was what's in my gym bag <laughs> um, the same person asks me, do you like stretching with equipment with equipment or without? it depends, you know um, if you mean equipment like ankle weights and um, TheraBand or stretch band, elastic, whatever um, sometimes, sometimes no. I mean, obviously it makes the exercise harder, especially if you're using ankle weights. But after you remove them, you feel like you can fly. <laughs> so I guess, you know, it does help. And with the TheraBands, not so much, I don't mind it. And plus we learn sometimes new exercises, so... It's fun. Until you have to do it another 10 times and another 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't really have a preference on that. Do you have siblings? No, I don't. And what's what's your dream vi What's your dream destination? Um, Disneyland. <laughs> well, or Paris, or Hawaii, or another tropical island. Because I would like to go to a tropical island. Because I know I live on an island and I know I'm sur surrounded by the sea, but it's not a tropical island. It's if anything, soon to be a desert. Or Paris because there is Disneyland there as well and I've always just wanted to see Paris so probably Paris yeah and then Hawaii or another tropical island I don't know like Bora Bora <laughs> um, next question is from AU 
LT Miller underscore Rock Center. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, asks, what's your favorite thing about living in Malta? Um, this, <laughs> I just love swimming and I'm, you know, grateful and happy and thankful to be surrounded by the sea. So, yeah. And obviously, like, the weather is... Like, I can't imagine any country since it's always cloudy and grey and it just... I'm just so used to this. I was born here, so it's like... I'm used to it. I like the sun, I like summer, I like swimming. Yeah. And she also asks, is there anywhere anywhere you really want to travel? And we answer that. Paris? Paris? Um, Alice Suchankova asks, do you think it's possible to start gymnastics old? Like 14 and older? Yeah. Definitely. You can start at whatever age. Obviously, um, with any sport, you're gonna have to catch up if you want to be at a higher level, but it's you know, not impossible if you just work hard. And, and I have a question from my niece. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Um, asks, what of races is the easiest and hardest for you? There isn't. There is. <laughs> like, you can. They are all hard. And then sometimes you say, oh, I prefer to do this because it's easier to do that with this apparatus. But, you know, they're all difficult, like ribbons can get knots and you can step on your ribbon. Clubs, I mean, you know what happens if it falls on your head. It's very painful. Um, and dangerous, obviously. The hoop actually isn't that bad, but it is, you know, slim, so you might miss catching it, but that's also the clubs and the ribbon. And then the ball, it's round, and it rolls, and it's bouncy, and again, like, you can't just say one is easier than the other, because they're all hard, but, yeah. <laughs> maybe just a hoop, maybe, I don't know. I, I feel like hoop is okay, but like, all the others, I'm like, I feel like hoop was the first, yes, I think hoop was the first apparatus that I learned. I mean, after rope. Oh, I totally forgot about rope, because I don't do rope anymore. Um, rope? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Now I find it hard, like... <laughs> okay, so Nilofar underscore Macarini asks, When did you start gymnastics and how many hours do you train at the gym? I said I started at 6 and I train around 3 hours. So that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I did not miss any questions and I hope I answered them well. Um, yes, if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link will be down in, this, in the description box down below and this, with the other videos I've probably mentioned that I hope I don't forget to include. Comment down below any other video ideas and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! You know when we have like a favorite song that comes on? This is like one of them. Yeah. 80s style.